Seven years have passed since the untimely passing away of Father Bismarck Dyers, the son of the soil who paid the price in his fight to save Goa from the clutches of evil forces. And Goincho Equot's founder Orville Rodriguez, along with his sister, as also Tirakol's Cyril, visited the Saint Esteban Cemetery to pay the respects to the departed soul. A Manukulian Goa exclusive report. That anniversary of uh, Father Bismarck, and you have come to pay respect, and there are very few people around. Can you tell uh, what is the reason behind coming here all the way? See, uh, Father Bismarck to us was uh, like a, a living saint. Uh, we, a lot of people uh, during uh, his uh, period on earth, a lot of people, there are a lot of activity, activists uh, who used to be around him surrounded by so many people, uh, good uh, people of good uh, meaning. But today, it appears in seven months, uh, you know, it appears that his uh, uh, legacy, is, forgotten. legacy uh, is not forgotten as such, but uh, people have with their own uh, uh, things, you know, they are with their own uh, difficulties of life, I would say. Each one is having their own difficulties in life. But such a man who lived uh, his entire uh, his uh, priestly life and thereafter in the service of mankind through you know helping out the various issues that are afflicting the Goan society especially the, on the environment issues he was the one who was uh, like you know uh, the person whom everybody looked up to uh, his legacy cannot be forgotten and as part of Goenzo Equot I am the founder member of Goenzo Equot and as part of uh, Wednesday Court, we and our uh, my colleagues in the organizations, we are, uh, you know, with, with our very, very limited means, we are trying to, you know, uh, to live up to his legacy. It's a very, very difficult proposition, you know. Nobody can ever st step in the footsteps of late uh, Father Bismarck Dias. Nobody. I, I, I'm, I'm stating this. But at least we can live up to his legacy. We have various issues in Goa afflicting, uh, afflicting our uh, motherland. Recently, we have this uh, jetty issue. Then uh, there is the double tracking. There is the western bypass in uh, that is affecting our uh, uh, constituencies of uh, Benaulim and uh, other areas. There is the uh, sewage uh, being, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the left out in the river sal. Uh, river sal is the lifeline of Salset. So I am saying there are various issues which uh, the activists on the, uh, in their own way are taking, uh, you know. And all this is what uh, Father Bismarck was fighting for. He was not fighting for his own personal self-benefit. Today, we, a lot of people are there, uh, they are doing it, but uh, after some time they lose steam. And we should not let this legacy die down, come what may. We, with our limited means, yes, we, we at Goenso Court, we will strive to live up to his legacy. So you have also come over here. Can you tell me your name and where you have come from? My name is Sir. I come from Tiragol. Far away. It's very far. And I come here emotionally to pay a visit um, at the grave of uh, the legend uh, Father Bismarck. He was fighting for my village. Today he is no more. Seven years has passed and we have still our legacy of him fighting spirit. We are carrying on to do what we can. He fought for us. He came to Tirakol to raise the issue and he spoke well to the, all the people of the village. I am here to give my, my emotional feelings to him and that's what I have to say. Thank you.